Greetings, everyone, here at Southern New Hampshire University Global, and specifically to the Department of Criminal Justice and our incredible students that are in the program. This is Dr. Jeff Zarnick, your favorite associate dean, ringing in on another Dr. C's Corner. This time it's, well, it's critical thinking, part three, I think no pun intended, that this is something we need to consider and talk about and discuss and incorporate and include and to really think about thinking and reasoning. And again, this is not the world according to me. This is the world according to people that are a lot smarter than I am, perhaps. But I really admire those people that really get involved in promotion of development of critical or analytic thinking. That's who the real problem solvers are. And in our particular discipline, call it criminal justice, etc., that's our primary mission is to solve problems. Now, there are certain ways to solve problems effectively with long-term positive results. But let's talk about, again, point of view and skilled reasoners versus unskilled reasoners. Now, think about how this applies to the work that you produce in the classroom, but all of a sudden, also what you're doing professionally or seek to do professionally. Keep this in mind. This all aligns with the strength and skills required of excellent problem solvers. Not mediocre, but excellence. And shame on us as those professionals that are toiling in the wonderful world of learning, call it academia. We don't promote excellence. What are we doing? And that's why... I'm going to go through a couple of these points here. Skilled reasoners keep in mind that people have different points of view, especially on controversial issues. Unskilled reasoners do not credit alternative reasonable viewpoints. Skilled reasoners consistently articulate other points of view and reason from within those points of view to adequately understand them. Unskilled reasoners cannot see issues from points of view significantly different from their own. They cannot reason with empathy from alien points of view. Skilled reasoners seek other viewpoints, especially when the issue is one they believe in passionately. Unskilled reasoners can sometimes give other points of view when the issue is not emotionally charged, but cannot do so for issues they feel strongly about. Skilled reasoners can find their monological reasoning to problems that are clearly monological. But unskilled reasoners, they confuse multilogical with monological issues. They insist that there is only one frame of reference within which a given multilogical question must be decided. I'm going to leave it at that for today. I want you to ponder that. I want you to absorb that. I want you to decide what type of skilled thinker, reasoner you are. And if you're not, and how do you overcome that? How do you develop that? Well, you rely upon the incredible criminal justice faculty that are in the trenches with you, that are the epitome of critical thinkers, problem solvers. They wouldn't be teaching if they weren't. And what they're sharing with you is their wisdom, their knowledge, and their experience specific to problem solving, which can only be done if you are an excellent thinker that you can see through the fray, cut through the emotion, and get down to the factual information as deep and complex as it may be. We shy away from complexity. We're afraid of that. Oh, it's too confusing. It's too much. It's easier to just, just to make it overly simple. And then I can hang my proverbial thinking hat on that and rally to that charge. We can't do that in this profession. We have to look at all the viewpoints, all the facets, and then get people together, develop consensus to solve problems. They're not done in a vacuum. And in my time on this planet, as a police officer, now retired for many years, and as a second career academic, I have learned more from those people who think critically than anyone else. We like to think that the epitome 
of critical thinking is wisdom. So with that said, you know how to get a hold of me. Subscribe to the channel if you like these messages. And always remember, first of all, you have great faculty that are on your side. They have your back, and so do we. So whatever you need, let us know. Keep working hard. Represent the epitome of critical thinking. Have a great and safe weekend.